Man, moving on to other college football news, man, throughout the state of Mississippi, dog. We saw Alcorn came back uh, against the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff in a thriller. I can't cap. They showed a lot of resilience in that game. I cannot yeah. cap at yeah. all yeah, about yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Especially dealing with all the uh, controversy they've been dealing with, with the whole training issue and all that stuff. Yeah. That was an impressive win. You know what I'm Agreed. saying? Agreed. Uh, uh, Mississippi State took an L against LSU. Uh, in which I saw their quarterback. I think that brother threw that ball, I think, 60 times, hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah. And Ole Miss had a bye week in preparation for number one, Alabama, Crimson Tide. This is a huge game. You know what I'm saying? So, JoJo, what are your thoughts, man, from this past week in Mississippi College football? Uh, Man, uh, as far as the – State losing to LSU. I don't know if they're gonna be able to recover from what happened to them the previous week, man. Against Memphis. Yeah, you, you know how that kind of thing that 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 can stick with you. Oh yeah. And you gotta have that coach that's able to get you to you know you gotta move on. You gotta move on to the next week. Uh, Ole Miss. I'm hoping that Ole Miss is has been focused. I'm hoping that they're not paying attention to all of the praise that they've been getting. You know what I mean? Like, stay hungry. Still feel like you got a lot to prove. Don't accept the pats on the back yet. Go ahead and put it on something. You think they're going to beat them? No, nah, they're not. Uh, Why you say it so quick, Joe? You ain't put no thought into yeah. it. And, I, now, I think they number 11 in the country, right? Yeah. I, I just... Man, when it comes to Bama, I mean, it's Bama. I, I just, I don't know. I, I just don't think they are going to do it. I don't think it's going to be a Bama-USM score, mm-hmm. but I, I don't I don't think they're going to pull it out. Well, uh, go ahead and show the world that we, we are just pro-Jackson State and not anti-Alcorn. And, and you know, once that week comes, Joe, me and right. you gonna catch it. Okay, <laughs> right. so mm-hmm. say something good. Find it in your soul to say something good about these boys and their resilient win they just had. He's searching his soul right now, America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gotta dig deep within. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, uh, they had a lot going on. They had a lot going on. What I can say is you didn't hear really a woe is me, from, not even from that coach. He just stated what the facts was, and he moved on and, and went through the preparation as they could. So that's about all I got. <laughs> Caesar, what are your thoughts on this week, man, and the, and the rest of the uh, Mississippi College football? Um. It, it, it's something to be said about all corn state where I know that they aren't the, uh, the current swag champions, but like the fact that they didn't play and can come back and bounce back resiliency. That, that's, that's a great word for it. No doubt. Season, uh, hey, hey, they feel like they feel like Ali when his title was stripped. Oh they yeah. Feel no, like they still the champ. Let that's, them tell it. Absolutely, man. And, and look, and rightly so. Um, I, I was very impressed how, they could have easily panicked. That was a huge lead that they had to come back, you know, and, and cut into. And the fact that they would come through and dominate in every phase of the game in the second half, like they left no stone unturned in that second half. Very, very impressive. And, and that starts at the top, man. That starts with Fred McNair. Um, and, and, and it's a credit to those young men, no doubt, because they're the ones that got to go out and make the plays. But the adjustments that are made is what I'm talking about. It starts at the top with Fred McNair. Mississippi State, they just got started too late. Um, on, on figuring out what they needed to do. If I say Fred McNair and his staff made adjustments, Leach and his staff waited too late with their adjustments, in my opinion. Ole Miss um, is what I kind of want to focus on. Um, they've had an opportunity now, have that bye week. So technically you have two weeks to get ready for Alabama. If you think of it like that, two full weeks to get ready for these guys. Um, in the past, when Ole Miss has had the horses to go toe-to-toe, with Alabama, it's always been a good game. They don't win every time, but it's always been a good game. So I don't anticipate them being blown out. I really don't. 
I anticipate it being a competitive game. I'm not saying they're going to win it. I do think Alabama's going to win. Um, because I, I trust I trust Nick Saban more than I trust Lane Kiffin in this case. Um, with Hugh Freeze, when he was there, Hugh Freeze was the ultimate in-game coach. He doesn't get enough credit for that. When it comes to seeing things, what works offensively, and just kind of sticking to that over and over again and, and hitting you where it hurts, he knew what Nick Saban's weaknesses were. Um, you know, for, for all intents and purposes, he knew that when he figured out what you were not good at, exploited it. He also had some of the best players in the country. So let's 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 get that out there too. Ole Miss has some really good players, especially on defense. But it's different when you can turn it on, and it's different when you have to stay on from kickoff to when the thing says zero. I don't know if they have that, but I, I do anticipate that it will be a phenomenal game. Probably the best game we're gonna see. Uh, this weekend is going to be Ole Miss and Alabama. So we'll see what it looks like. I do think Alabama's going to win that game, though. Okay, I'm anticipating that one. T, mm -hmm. what, what, what your Ken folk talking about with the Alcorn win, man? Were, were they elated with the comeback win? Oh, for sure. I mean, everybody's uh, everybody's pretty static. My, my wife was probably cussing out the boys <laughs> more than anything because she was in there watching it. And oh, yeah. uh, I think she got into it about the point at which the – UAPB decided not to go for that three in their territory, which Very I think that just swung. That swung it. That swung yeah. the whole gamut of that game. And uh, Alcorn was just driving the ball really well in that second half. Mm -hmm. um, but like y'all said, man, that was just a resilient win. Uh, I think Fred McNair, you know, um, my brother-in-law kind of came over here. My, my sister was watching it. And she was snapping, and he was like, well, if I had a coach, man, my, the coach ain't fired up. Like, he was tripping about how Fred wasn't fired up about things. Fred but I think, cool. I think Fred was just keeping it cool, mm -hmm. and Fred was making his points where he needed to make them and making his adjustment where he needed to make them. And just, look, y'all execute. Like, why be high? Why be low? You know, let's just, look, y'all galvanize. I'll get this stuff figured out, and let's go get this W. Now, I think that's just Fred McNair's personality. Like Steve McNair was never a fiery rah rah, throw your helmet off on the sideline. You know he wasn't that guy. He Fred, I mean Steve just knew well, I'm gonna I'm gonna score. That that was always Steve McNair. No matter how far he was down in the series in the past against Jack State or whatever, he just knew we got a chance. I'm on the field, and that's kind of how Fred is. Fred's just real cool. He's just real, just real reserved. And I think his team believes in him, and they bite, they 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 latch on that. So that was a great win for Alcorn, most definitely a great win. Um, State, I think Ray said it. They they just they just started too dang slow. They had some turnovers in the first half that hurt them, and they just didn't get going until late. And I really do wonder sometimes if Mike Leach works on like hurry up offense because they took a lot of time to try to drive and score late in that game. And I don't know if their play calling is there, if they got great communication between QB and OC, but they were really slow about moving the ball. I mean, just guys just weren't – it just didn't flow. It just didn't flow. You know, late in that game, trying to get back in it, it just didn't flow. But um, I don't know who they got next. I, I didn't look. But State's got a really good team. They've got good receivers. Will Rogers is a gamer. He can play. I think their trouble is at O line, my personal opinion. I think their offensive line is not there right now. I don't think they've got what it takes to really handle some of the the brunt of the SEC, some of the really tough teams. So they, they gotta work on that. Now, when it comes to Ole Miss, okay, come on with it. I'm just gonna put it on something because it's got to happen. Do that, do that. They're gonna beat they're gonna beat Bama this weekend. There it is, America. There it is. Coming this weekend. And, and this is the this is Mr. Boat talking right here. This is Mr. Yeah. Casino Man. This they're gonna be Bama this weekend. I, I feel like Kiffin's got wrinkles. He's okay. got some things that he took from that Florida game that he has taken from some tape. And I think he's gonna put his guys in the right position to win. Matt Corral has to be special to win this game. Now I ain't gonna lie. Indeed. Matt Corral's got to be special. I hope to see Jerry on Ely really have a big effect, him and Snoop Connor in this game. Uh, they just got such a dynamic offense. And I and I guess the question is, 
can Ole Miss go into them late rounds? Because if you think about it, last year it was 35-35, I believe. They were, they were tight with Alabama last year. They took them down through there last time they played. And it ended up being 63-48. And that's what your Elijah Moores, Kenny Yaboas of the world, that, that stuff. So I think with Matt Corral and with Drummond and Ely and Snoop Connor, I really think they can give Bama all they can ask for and then so. And I believe they can win this game. You say it was 63-48? That was the final score, if I remember. the SEC or the Big 12? What the <laughs> hey, man, look. Bama's oh defense God. Bama's defense has, has not been great. When they've seen offenses where they played against dual-threat quarterbacks, such as a Matt Corral, such as uh, Deshaun Watson, such as any of these others that they played, Johnny Manziel, you can go back. They've given them fits. Saban is not caught up yet to that, that type of offense, that kind of potency when it comes to that offense. Okay. I know it's in Bama, but anything can happen. We ain't got an upset yet this year that I can really just latch on and claim. The, and, and claim. That's a good point. I think That's this is the point. one. I and think no, this and, is the one. And, and to, to your point, normally when you say a team has to go into Tuscaloosa, that's a huge task. That's a daunting task. Yeah. But for Ole Miss, it really doesn't matter. They beat them in Oxford. They beat them in Tuscaloosa. Like, it it, it doesn't matter to them in, in that space. So, for me, um, in this case, it does not matter because of the opponent. Ole Miss will play them anywhere that they need to. Yeah. It goes back to what you said, though. Do they have the guys to go tip for tat for four quarters? That's what it takes for any, for any Alabama team. Oh, yeah. Not only do you have to be good, you got to be good for the entire game because if you blink, that's when Nick figures you out, yep. right? That's when he makes his adjustment. Yep. You have to adjust anytime he adjusts. When you figure out his weakness, you got to – for four quarters. And, you got to make him – you got to frustrate him. You got to make him pay. So we'll see. Yep. We'll see, man. So 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 has T uh, swayed you all season? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I still think – I still think um, – and, and here's why I say that. I really do think the teams are evenly matched. I don't think Alabama is in any way. Yeah, that that, that, that's putting it on some right there. Yeah, I don't. Re- I don't really think that Alabama in any way is head and shoulders above Ole Miss at any position. Like they may be, they may be better than them at a certain position, but it's not like, oh man, they got that part beat. And vice versa for Ole Miss. Like there isn't a guy for Ole Miss that I would say I look at the Alabama side and say, oh, they're that much better at that position. I think it's evenly matched. That's what happens when, when I say, you know, Ole Miss has a chance to beat Alabama. I like Lane Kiffin as a play caller. But in order to win me over, he's got to do it Saturday. If he outcoaches Nick Saban Saturday, then I'll come back in. I'll, I'll come back on here next week and say, the brother got it. He's got to figure it out. This is where you can make your hay. Again, I, I have seen Hugh Freeze out coach Nick Saban not just Hugh Freeze but the coaching staff that he had that he had yes he had the horses but you got to set them up for success and if you're in Tuscaloosa you got to have a little bit of luck got to have a little bit of luck uh, oh Quincy, yeah no doubt no doubt Quincy, Quincy Adebayo um had a had a fluke touchdown catch uh, from Chad Kelly when they played a few years back um they went the distance for a touchdown that's a huge difference in the game yeah you have to you have to have those moments because Alabama typically, typically does not beat themselves. So you gotta you gotta figure out a way to have a little bit of of, of I don't want to call it luck, but you gotta have some good fortunes go your way. If you can get it, man, I'm telling you, if you are there with five minutes left in the game, then at that point, let's figure out who's the best team on the field. That that's the beauty of college football when you have two evenly matched teams. Okay. Okay. So I got I got old miss from T. I got I'm, I'm still saying Alabama. I'm still got saying Alabama, Alabama. from racist Leo. Yeah. I got from JoJo. Uh, yeah, it's still Alabama. But I, I will say this: if Ole Miss wins, I never bet against my alma mater again. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> if Ole Miss wins, they're gonna become my alma mater. <laughs> oh, all right, boy. All right. All right. 
All right. Now, now you just heard me tell America that we've been showing <laughs> our frustration with Southern Miss, but that we, we care about the program yeah. and yeah. that, you know, we, we just expect them to do right and come from USA. And now just, you done, <laughs> you done transferred post-graduation. He, he in that portal. He in that portal he right in now. He's taking in summer the classes. Portal. He's taking summer <laughs> classes this year. Oh. This one right here, man. Oh, well, man. before we, I, again, I, I, I said Joe needed to go ahead and say something good about Alcorn because I know when Alcorn week come up and everybody watch our Jackson State takes. We uh, we always have between 95 and 98 percent like percentage on our Jackson State videos. And I it just some tells me that there one or two dislikes gotta be a somebody from Alcorn State University. You know what right. I'm talking about? So maybe they think we just Alcorn haters, you know what I'm saying? So let me tell y'all, that was an amazing win by Alcorn State. I watched that game. Yes, I had my text ready hmm. when Alcorn was getting stumped. I had my text ready for my young boys. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my young boys that go to Alcorn. You know what I'm saying? I had the text ready in the group text. I was, going, I, I was like, you know, I'm going to wait to send it. But I had it <laughs> ready already. Okay? But once I saw them come back, first of all, as T made reference to when – uh. Pine Bluff coach didn't take that three points. Mm, got to take that. If, if they got anybody in Arkansas doing what we do on the podcast tip and, and, and local sports media and stuff like that, got that to. brother's probably catching it. You yeah. got to get – He's take probably it. catching it because you, you had a chance to take three and you end up losing by one. Yeah. And the way they just storm back, that brother's catching it. You know what I'm saying? But got to give credit to Alcorn, being resilient. Great win, hell of a win. I don't think they can storm back like that against the headache game. I don't see that. But and, uh, I don't know if if Jack State don't get their act together offensively. I don't know if we even have a big lead like that. You know what I'm saying? They gotta get that together together offensively, like I like I said in the previous segment. But uh America, y'all try y'all that's on record, it's on tape that I said something good mm -hmm. about Alcorn. Okay, my mm -hmm. young boys, uh 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 crit. Y'all saw I just said something. Albert Day, all y'all boys that go to Alcorn, y'all just saw on take coach said something good <laughs> about Alcorn. So don't be hitting me with that mess. Tell me I'm hating on y'all, okay? But, America, y'all chime in and tell us what y'all thought about this past week in Mississippi College football. And go ahead. Oh, see, my brothers be letting me make it. Yeah, yeah, because you ain't pick. Because I ain't pick old Miss Alabama. <laughs> hey, I, I do that a lot, America. I get away yeah. with that a lot. You know what I'm well, saying? Come on, well, come, come, on, on come on right now then. I'm gonna go. I, I'm, 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 what? I'm gonna take Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take Alabama. I'll be like, you know, my brother up here, he's the rebel when it comes to these picks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This this the guy up here with the rebellious one when it comes to these picks. See, Even though we, I did to have a rebellious pick in basketball last season that we're yeah. not gonna talk about no more. Is that pun intended? Huh? Rebellious rebels. No, because oh, I don't even want to acknowledge them as the rebels because they were rebelling against. You know, so, you uh, know, I, don't, right. don't make me get into my <laughs> history. Don't let me get no history he, spiel. He right definitely now. not been the big old man. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Hey, you may, <laughs> see, you may very well be able to come back next week and say, "I told you so." Now look, if that boy go to the boat and bet on that and they win, he might not show oh. up for work next week. That's sure tough. might not. Because he already got the guap in the bank, so then he just adding to it. He might not show up. To, to work. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I might I I'm might just call again. I might just call y'all and be like, yeah, man, uh y'all want to pull up and drink with me. Y'all can because uh I'm getting I'm spending these Ole Miss winnings right <laughs> this weekend. You know what I'm saying? I understand. Yeah, that's crazy, cool. ain't it? yeah T ain't, ain't, don't do that. Bama Bama, 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 about, spread, ain't it? Bama favored about 14 and a half right now, last I saw. So we'll oh. see. That's that's too about 14, for, uh, uh, about 14 and a half. Look, I'm not going to be a sucker to it because this past week, Auburn was supposed to be favored by 23 and a half to Georgia mm. State, and they just got by. You see how that turned out, yeah. So I ain't finna, I ain't even finna listen to Vegas. I'm finna listen to me and Jesus. That's what Okay, I'm okay, okay. For the betters of the world. Real quick, T, real quick. Okay, all right. Are you telling the betters then to take take the points that, old, that, that Alabama, even if Alabama wins – they won't cover that spread. Here, here's here's why I would say, oh, take the points on Ole Miss right now because of the fact that this is today, Monday. 
because they're talking about they don't know if the Brian Robinson kid's gonna go. So he's day to day. The the Bama defense. I'm just I'm just thinking about okay, you preparing like like Ray's talked about two weeks. Ole Miss is prepared for Bama. Could be good, could be bad. Bama had to see us. I'm gonna say us because that's our school. Mm-hmm. And now they got to, oh, they well. got to they got to turn off that. <laughs> they got to turn off that preseason game to go crank up and play a team like Ole Miss, who is in the top 15 in the country. So it's a different bag. I mean, like you, like young men have to like uh, if Bama pulls this off convincingly and covers that spread, that shows that they were locked in, dialed in. They were ready to rock. They've been ready to rock. They they were ready to rock from from the beginning. But I just think Ole Miss for two weeks, they've got a very they've got a they got a kind of a senior laden team. They got an experienced team. Ely is what a junior. I think Snoop Connor's a junior. I mean, they got they got guys that have experience. Corral's been there. I just think they got a shot. You got a play caller like Lane Kiffin. You he got a shot. It you got Please, a shot. You got me. You got me. You got a I'm shot. I'm going Ole Miss. Lock it in. <laughs> man, Lock it in. Up. No, no, no. Yes. Yes. Up in the yes. same segment. <laughs> yes. Yes. In the same segment. T, you just did it with your yeah. persuasive ability. And I just went back. While you were talking, I thought back. Didn't Alabama just squeak by somebody? And then I thought about it. It was your guys, Joseph. They yeah, just squeaked by yeah. your guys, Florida, right. by two points. Yeah, that's true. I'm going with James Meredith's school. You right. know what? Book it. The T, you and Wells, y'all didn't did it. No, you ain't did it. I'm for sure going with Alabama. I know you for sure going with Alabama. <laughs> I knew that. You, yeah, yeah. Without yeah. a doubt. I knew he yeah. was setting that up. Yeah, yeah, he set that up. I knew that he was log. setting that up. America, that go to the boat, bet on old Miss and win you some money, and then thank us later. Or just but, take the total, because it's going to be some points. It's going to be some points. No, T. No, no. Either no, way. No, no I'm, I'm just trying to get these people to make their money. Or Either way, Prince, boys that y'all owe me I some more. Spread. <laughs> I me, me personally, I'm gonna take the spread. I ain't gonna sit there and cap. I'm gonna take the spread. Uh, I'm gonna I take the spread. It. You ain't gonna it. see number of cash app uh in the comments. No. I'm gonna take the spread. I'm taking the spread. Hey, look, don't put your uh, rent money on me. Man. That's your fault. I love it. Tell I didn't tell you push that button. on America. Put it on some. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me across all social media platforms, like the videos, and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's StatementTees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.